Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Taib at HasseKicks.com, and today we're going to talk about the Flint 13s. Now, this is coming out on Saturday, and I know a lot of guys are excited to grab a pair. Unfortunately, I won't grab one because I just don't wear Jordans anymore, but I still want to talk about this sneaker because this is probably one of my favorite models of all uh, the Jordan collection. This is just a great looking shoe, man. And what Nike has done, what I've liked is they've tried to just reproduce uh, their earlier models in their original uh, makeup in the sense that they are bringing exactly what was produced in the early 90s and the late 90s. So guys are excited. And this is good stuff because these shoes are going to be flying off shelves, even though we don't have shelves anymore because everything is online now. But you get what I'm saying is people are going to buy this like crazy. So today we're going to talk about numbers and we're going to talk about resale value and all that kind of good stuff. All right. But before we get into it, let's let's look at the shoe and let's talk a little bit. So on this side of the shoe here, on this overlay, you're going to have some 3M effect on it. Then on the bottom, you have your gray color there with that kind of uh, new book like feel like leather. And then you have tumble leather on the toe box here. And then you have your paws, uh, your, your, this side, the pod here at the bottom, which is supposed to represent uh, the cat. Spot, then you have your leopard eye, which made this shoe iconic. And then let's look at more pictures. This is the bottom. Again, this is supposed to represent like the cat. And then you have your carbon fiber inside of that. And then again, you have a little, another little circle here with your jump man, the hologram. And then your herringbone thread, that's for um, your move on the court. This is a good shoe for basketball purposes, by the way. So this is a great shoe for that. Then you have your other side again. This is just repeated. And uh, this is the, the extension of the tongue with the perforation for your ventilation. And then the little Jordan t on, on the top here, the tongue, the throat line. You have your jump man on the outside of the tongue in um, blue. And then again, this is the inside of it. This is a good, good shoe. I love everything about this sneaker. Everything about it I love, man. So now let's talk numbers. So to talk numbers, we're going to go back on my website. So the thing is this, like... Before I write these things, I have to collect a lot of data as far as like who's getting the shoe. So this is what I did earlier today. So I, this is almost going to be like a general release. That means everybody's going to get it. Nike is going to get it. Foot Locker is going to get it. Champs, Foot Action, Finish Line, JD Sports, Hibbert, Dick Sporting Goods, East Bay, you name it. Everybody's going to pretty much get this sneaker. Just not just the major major retailers, minors are, are gonna get it as well. So you have like Jimmy Jazz, Eblen, Snipes, City Gear, UBQ, and Shoe City, Shoe Palace, Chicks, Athletes Foot, and a lot more. So this is the the, the line, I mean the the list goes on and on and on. And then I didn't even mention the boutiques, so they're also gonna get it. The, here's the thing: all these shops now are operating basically online. So that means you're not gonna be really able to go to the physical location to grab the sneaker. But we're going to treat this as if the physical locations are getting this. This is how we're going to run our assumptions. And then we're going to transfer and convert all the um, inventory that the, the stores are going to get. Uh, physically, we're going to transfer that to the online allocation. So I hope it makes sense to you. Now, the first thing we want to do is this. We're going to set up our assumption. So my assumption is this. Nike, I'm assuming it's going to get about one third of the production. Foot Locker and champs and foot action are also going to get a third and then we're going to give finish line hibbert and dix and all these other minor chains another third and then this is just considering the us of a okay and then the next thing is this i'm going to give 24 pairs to all the regular foot locker stores 70 to house of hoops 18 per foot action and 18 per champs store and we're also going to give their online allocation about a third of the total the physical stores are given so now we can run our numbers. For House of Hoops, we're going to do 70 times 170, which is 11,900. For Foot Actions, we're going to do 70 times 18, which is 3440. For Foot Lockers, regular Foot Lockers, it's going to be 24 times 730. I came up with 17,520. And then you're going to add all, all these numbers together, and we're going to get about 39,224. Now, for their online allocation, we're going to divide this number by 3, and I came up with 13,075, right? And then we're going to give East Bay a third of that. So we're going to take this number, and we're going to divide it by 3. We got 4,358. And then for the grand total, we're just going to add up everything that we've gotten. So it came up to 56,657. 
And then the number for just the US of A, according to what I did, was 56,657 times 3, which is almost 170,000 pairs, which I got here. But I have to, I stretched it and I added a 30,000 to it for possible errors. So I came up to 200,000. And I'm assuming that between 200,000 and 350,000 pairs will be made based on everything that I've set up there. Now, I got to make sure I add my disclaimer. Because I know guys are out there that are going to try and discredit. So I just want to make sure you guys understand. When I do these assumptions, it's purely based on stuff that I've made up. I don't work for the brands. I don't work for the stores. I don't have their numbers. So I'm just trying to give you a picture of what is going on. So use these numbers with discretion. Don't quote me anywhere saying, well, this guy say this is going to come out. So this is the truth. Now, it's just a picture of what may happen. Okay, to help you make your, your decisions. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is the resale value. So, when I collected the data, I put it in for the last three days. I started with Monday, uh, Sunday, Monday, and then Tuesday, which is today. So, you can see from my graph that the trend is pretty much the same. It hasn't really, it was 263 on Monday. That's based on all the values accumulated together, and I took the average. So, it, it came on to 263. So, if you take Monday, Tuesday, and then Sunday, it went from 263 to 267. If you take the average based on all these numbers, you roughly get 266. So what I did was this. I went back and I tried to see what sizes are selling the best. So again, this is a uh, break, break, uh, breakdown of all the sizes from size 7 to size 16. You can see that the shoe is going between 243 and 276. It hasn't exceeded those numbers. So based on those numbers, your markup and your margins as far as like profit is concerned, will be between $20 and 50 bucks. So the, your markup is like 9.95% to 25%. That's not bad at all, especially for a general release sneaker. So if that means if you can score like multiple pairs at once, you're going to be sitting on some good profit. Now the shoe is going to sell out instantly via retail. That's not going to sit. Don't even try. That's going to sell out the same day it comes out because people are looking forward to getting this right here. Okay. Now, if you want to grab this shoe, you can go back and check all these like retailers that I gave you in my first paragraph. You can grab all these guys. You can go to these guys and then check their, their procedures on how they're going to release the shoe. That's not my job. It's not to do that. My job is just to give you the numbers. Now, if you want to buy it right away because you don't want to wait, then I'll provide you with links. You can see these links on my website or just check the link in the description. I'm going to give you some places where you can grab this shoe right now and not even worry with the hassle and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Again, thanks for watching. This is Ty from Master Kicks, and stay tuned for more stuff.